We had a freezer, one of our walk-in freezers, which was storing unpasteurized milk that kept setting off the circuit breaker and needed to go down for repair. And it was full of milk and we were trying to determine where we could get it stored. And I called the Mid-Ohio Food Bank to ask them for suggestions regarding the storage of milk, whether we could rent a truck or if they knew someplace where we could rent freezer space. And through their generosity, they offered to store the milk for us. Ohio Health is such an amazing partner with the food bank and participates in our Operation Feed program and participates in our Get Fresh program. So when the call came from Ohio Health that you needed help in storing milk, we wanted to be there for you, like Ohio Health has been there for us. So we were looking for some place where we could store all of our milk in one place and know that it was safe. And knowing that Mid-Ohio Food Bank stores food, we felt that that was a very safe place. Their generosity was unbelievable because it's not something that we anticipated them doing. We were calling looking for suggestions on where we could order um, storage space or freezer space for it. Did not anticipate them to offer space for two full weeks. We're one of 18 milk banks in the country and we distribute milk as far north as Canada, as far south as Atlanta, as far east as Vermont, and as far west as St. Louis. Through research, we know that the one major risk for premature infants is something called necrotizing enterocolitis, which can be a fatal infection of the gut. And we know that human milk feedings are the only thing that reduces their risk for that. And if mom doesn't have enough milk, then donor milk is our best second choice. When preemies and full-term babies even can get this breast milk, and then we at the food bank can step in and help the moms and low-income moms have access to nutritious food, all health outcomes will be better.